good morning everyone i actually woke up <laughs> over an hour later than my alarm went off but we're not gonna think about that for the first time today i thought i would start going for like a brisk walk in the morning first thing because today i woke up and i was like i need fresh air and also i just think it's really good to get out of the house before like starting any work or having to do anything and with my exam stress i haven't really been doing much exercise which i also think is really bad um, because I get so stressed and if I don't go out in the morning or do a workout in the morning, which is what I was trying to do, I just won't do it for the rest of the day. So I just thought, right, just get out there, have some fresh air, have a brisk walk. Even if it's just 10, 15 minutes, just go for a walk. Um, and honestly, I felt so much better. It's such a nice day today. I was taking the fresh air, like the wind was blowing in my hair and it just felt so nice. It's also such a nice way to start the day. So I think I'm going to start doing this every day now because my exams are coming up. Because it means that I'm getting my exercise in, I'm getting my fresh air in. It's a really good way to start the day and I feel like, like I just feel happier um, to start revising and to start getting lots of work done today, even though it is later than I wanted it to be. So yeah, I would definitely recommend doing that to anyone who is in a bit of a slump. Um, it's just, it makes me feel so much better and I'm really glad that I did it. So I think it's just gone eight. Um, I'm going to make some breakfast and make make a to-do list for today. I'm doing two of my favourite papers today, revision. So I'm going to make a to-do list so I know exactly what I need to do and I'm not wasting time. I don't know what I'm going to have for breakfast. I think maybe mushrooms and scrambled egg on toast. I'm kind of feeling something savoury rather than something sweet. This is genuinely one of my go-to meals. It's literally just so fried mushrooms with um, scrambled egg. And then usually we've run out now, but usually I have spinach with it as well, like all mixing together, just on toast with sriracha sauce, which I've put in the pan as they're frying. And then I put just some pepper and chili flakes on and it's so good. Honestly, it tastes so nice. Um, I have this like every other day, if not every day, either for breakfast or for lunch, because I love it so much. And then I've also just got some green tea as well. So I've just been going over some of the set texts. I'm now coming to the living room because I'm going to watch uh, the next episode of I Claudius, which is, um, I think it's the beginning of Tiberius's reign, and I've been reading about it just now. So now I'm just going to watch the episode because uh, it just it helps me, and I'm going to be there though with my laptop and like checking alongside my notes to just like follow it properly. Um, and then, and I've also started doing some archaeology reading, but I'll finish that after I've watched an episode. Um, this might seem like it's a complete waste of time, and it might be, it might just be me tricking myself into like not doing as much active work, but I do find that it helps me. Sometimes when you just read ancient texts and you don't have the context, it's really difficult to understand. So when it's like visualised and it's in like something I can watch, it's a lot easier for me to just follow along and understand, and I can then picture the characters and like have them in my head so I understand more. It just makes more sense, so I'm hoping that it, this will actually be useful, especially because the series is really good and it does generally stick to the actual facts, um, so that's what I'm going to do now. <laughs> so I've just been working my way through um, a couple of episodes um, of I Claudius, which has actually definitely helped me um, understand more about the time period and I've, as I was watching I was like looking stuff up and following along with my notes and like adding stuff and checking stuff so it's been quite useful. I'm now getting really hungry so I'm just going to have some soup. Um, my mum's been making homemade soup which has been really nice. So I'm just heating some up at the moment and I'm also going to boil an egg because I quite like boiled eggs and then I'll, uh, I'll get some bread as well. Um, but I want to, I don't know what I'm going to do next, I'm either, I'm going to probably finish the episode that I'm watching and then do a bit of extra reading on Tiberius' reign and make sure that I definitely understand all the different key points and look at passive questions on Tiberius. But I also then want to finish reading the article that I started on archaeology and then look through the book um, on the power of images in the age of Augustus and um go through the imperial portraiture of the earlier julio claudians because that's in my roman art paper as well as it kind of covers the imperial succession topic in the history in the roman empire paper that i'm taking so yeah i've got a lot of stuff to do but i don't i don't really know because basically <laughs> this is not ridiculous but because 
I never really, I didn't really cover Claudius or Tiberius that much when I was um, learning the learning their reigns for the paper. But watching the series really helps me. Obviously, you've got to take the series with a pinch of salt because it's not entirely based on facts. It's based on mainly Suetonius and Tacitus, which are the, our ancient sources. And obviously not just believing everything that's in the series, but having characters... Like putting names to faces really helps my brain like process like understand things better so i want to watch the whole series before my exam which is on monday a week on monday um so i don't know whether i was going to just do an episode a day or whether to just watch like quite a few more episodes today and get the grounding for like tiberius's reign and then after i finish watching them reread the primary sources on tiberius's reign to like connect things together and then look at password questions um, because I could do that today and then that would be like all of Tiberius and I did Augustus already and maybe even go down to Caligula today and then I've got two more days left for this paper revision before the exam which I can then do um, Claudius' reign and then do like a thematic topic but I'm not really sure yet how to structure my time at the moment um, I need to decide what to do I think I probably won't watch more than another episode i might watch like maximum one more i like finish the episode i'm watching now watch maximum one more today and then do more just reading and literature um, and reading of the rereading of the sources instead of just watching all of it today because that's like otherwise very passive and um i actually have quite a lot of energy today which is not usual so i want to make the most of actually not feeling tired and exhausted all the time It is such a nice day, so I think I'm going to go outside and work in the garden because I really like doing that when I can. It's like it's so sunny, um, so I'm gonna get some of the work, get some of my sheets and stuff I need from my folder, um, and then take out a couple of books and my laptop and my laptop stand and some water, and get on with doing some work. It's three o'clock now. I've read an article um, that I wanted to finish, and yeah, so I'm just gonna take my work outside and hopefully go over um, some imperial art and then also go over the architecture of Rome at the time. So I've decided to come and revise in the garden because it's so nice and warm, such a lovely day. So I'm gonna revise here for a bit. I'm, I've got my books. I've got my books here that I need, the work that I need here, and I've got my iPad and my um, book stand and then my laptop obviously here as well. I've got some water. So yeah, hopefully I will get through what I need to get through. Uh, for the past 20 minutes, I've been trying to set out the Wi-Fi because it kept turning off and I, it wouldn't reach here when I've worked here before and I usually have the Wi-Fi, which was really annoying. So yeah, I'm now starting work. I think I'm just gonna start by reading, um, skimming through this book. Um, and then <laughs> looking at password questions, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Um, yeah, I think I'll just, start reading this, see if there's any lecture notes that I have on the archaeology of Rome at this time and then just start seeing what kind of things I need to know um, to be able to answer the password questions. Okay yeah I've just found my reading now for the archaeology so um, I'll do both in conjunction with each other. Admittedly, I went inside to have a nap and I'm really hungry so I was going to go to the shop but um, I decided not to because we're going to have dinner soon I think. So I've got some rice cakes and cheese as a snack and I'm just going to, I don't know why I started falling asleep when I was reading this book so that's not good. It's always this time of the day that I get so tired. Um, I'm just going to read my notes and then yeah just plan a part of a question. I just, I just don't have the energy I think to read anything new. I've just had dinner and now I'm just going to read this nice brand new book on Roman sarcophagi and try to answer a part of a question. But this is quite a thick book so hopefully I'll get some good examples from it. And my lovely sister over here is making me some banana bread. <laughs> So I'm about to head to bed now, it's almost 10. I would end up watching this video, YouTube video about Cicero. <laughs> um, I don't actually quite know what I've exactly done today, but I've planned uh, two past paper questions um, and made some more notes on one of my other topics. But to be honest, I don't feel like I've achieved that much today. 
Um, but then surprisingly, I'm quite relaxed about that. I think it's also this whole thing I keep saying that it just doesn't feel real. Um, but from tomorrow, I've got a really, I don't know, it's hard. It's hard to like kind of motivate yourself to do enough work, but I'm trying to do as much as I can. And like, I just feel really tired or I just feel like there's no point to doing any more work. Like it is just kind of really strange to, to deal with because this isn't what I would be like if everything was normal. But we're trying, we are, yeah, just getting through whatever I'm getting through. Like, I'm pretty sure I ticked off most of my to-do list today. But again, I just, I, I think I forgot to even look at, I, I don't even know what I'm saying. But essentially, I have done work today, but not as much as I would have liked. Um, I have got a clearer picture in my head, though, about the chronology of my Roman Empire paper and the emperors and like their policies during their reigns that's what i really wanted to make sure i understood by the end of the day and i do and i've done some more reading for roman art um i didn't really do lots of the other things i wanted to do but again you know you can just try your best which is annoying and it's really weird to think that exams are going to start in a week and i just feel so unprepared but also when they start it's just they're just gonna go by so fast and then it's gonna be over and then i'm gonna be done which is really a crazy thought i just wanted to end the vlog by saying by showing you something so in oxford obviously we have carnations it's an oxford tradition when if you have your exams and you're wearing your sub -fusk, you uh, which is like the uniform you have to wear um you get carnations three carnations a yellow a pink and a red obviously i can't have that this year because i'm not going to sit my exams in exam schools i'm not going to be wearing my sub -fusk, nothing like that but my mom bless her she showed me today that she at the beginning of lockdown ordered carnations and she's been growing them so that i can wear it or like have it there on my desk when i sit and do my exams so they are here like how that is honestly just the sweetest thing she's like bought a red one a white one and then four pink ones um so we're just waiting for them to flower it might not happen in time but i thought the sentiment was just so 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 sweet anyway yeah i'm gonna brush my teeth wash my face i think i might do a face mask for 10 minutes and then head to bed because i'm really tired and i have a lot of things to do tomorrow because tomorrow is actually a week until my exams and that's what I'm gonna get really, like I am really stressed but I'm also not or I don't I don't seem it but I, like, I am inside because my body is definitely feeling the stress but I just don't outwardly appear as stressed as I normally would this, this is all just really weird I'm not gonna lie it's just all really 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 weird but hopefully this vlog was somewhat interesting I guess to see into the mind and life of like what what I'm doing what Oxford Finance is doing but yeah I will see you in my next vlog <laughs> bye